My world got tumbled in one call. I was in my early career, in my mid-20s, and right before this whole thing happened, I remember we, we had a client in Australia, an airline that would upgrade us as far as available. So I'm sitting in first class on an international flight back to the States, and I'm sitting there with a drink in my hand and having dinner and thinking, this, this is it, this is great. So I'm with a, a client, a, a large insurance and financial company, a great brand, and it was about a two hour drive from there to where we lived in Annapolis, Maryland at the time. And I'm pulling out of their parking lot. The meeting had gone great. Uh, we, we had a bunch of things on track. They were getting great results. I was so excited. I was on top of the world. And I went out to my car and I will never forget uh, this many years later, pulling out of their parking lot. And I called my wife, Kirsten, uh, on my way home one afternoon. And she'd had this little thing on the back of her hand. And come to find out, the, the test came back, it was melanoma. And the doctors told us that, you know, there, there are always exceptions, but she probably had fewer than five years to live. And in a heartbeat, none of these other things mattered to me. It was the deepest anguish I've ever experienced. And I would have done anything, I would have given up anything for her. None of that mattered. Well, by God's grace, we got through that and it's 100% behind us. So our daughter Grace came into the world and this, this tangible little bundle of joy that, that said, you know, stay with it, have faith. You're gonna get through this. And Kirsten's treatments didn't impair her ability to have a child and what a, what a precious gift that was. Years later, I, I thought of Dory the fish in the movie Finding Nemo. You know, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. And we all have to do that at times. We, we go through these dark seasons, we have to get back out there and get back in the game. And, and I did, and I did it with a much better perspective. And, and I can walk into the toughest meeting and I have a lot more fun. And that tends to make everything go better because it's not that big a deal. At the end of the day, um, our, our journey, those closest to us, that is a big deal. Uh, the, the, the successes and setbacks, they're gonna happen. They're just not that big a deal. And in the business world, I benefited in ways I, I never could have dreamed of. For one thing, I had to learn to ask for help. I can't do everything on my own. And that was a, a clear case of needing to reach out and ask for help. And, and our team was amazing and they gave me margin to be there for her. But I've learned that in other circumstances since then, there are times we just need help. I care more deeply about others than I ever would have. And that comes in pretty handy if you're in the customer service space, because ultimately that's what it's about. It's about caring about others and, and, and wanting to help them. I'm more sensitive to challenges others face. It's helped make me be a better leader. And you, you walk into any room and everybody there has things that they're working through and going through and, and having empathy to that and realizing we're all in this together um, helps in so many ways. Here's my challenge to you, and I, I'm not asking you to go through what, what we went through. I, I wouldn't wish that upon anybody, uh, but view each day as a gift and, and don't take things so seriously. Every day is a gift, so put everything you've got into it then we're gonna be more creative. We'll, we'll be better leaders. And, you know, some of us are just, it, it takes more to get through to us. I, that was the case with me. <laughs> I don't wish that upon anybody, uh, but wow, I, I benefited professionally in ways that I never realized I would, let alone as a person.